Good morning, everyone out there. I am Corinne Braxton, and today I think is July 10th. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Bozeman. I'm coming to you from Bozeman, Montana. I am a Stamping Up demonstrator, and I love what I do. So today I have two fun projects, and first we'll, we'll let me see if my computer, I've got my old laptop here. Let's see once here, if we can find anyone that's coming in Not yet. I'm gonna just look on my old iPad. I have had quite a, uh, let's see, what's, oh, there it is. Okay, there I am. I'm just gonna enlarge it and, uh, oh, good, good. Now I can see. Um, let's see who's going to be the first to come on. It's always fun to see who's going to follow me. Hey, LaVon, good to see you this morning. Oh my goodness, hey, and see Linda Wilmuth, good to see you this morning. Ladies, I'll, as you come on, just say where you're from, if, uh, if you would mind, that would be great. Um, hey, Martina, good to see you this morning too. It is beautiful, it's nice and sunny. My room, I think, is going, I closed the door because I have my cleaning ladies are downstairs. They've already been up here. Hey, Stacy from Florida. Good to see you this morning. Oh, thank you. You are always so sweet about sharing. I always appreciate when you subscribe, thumbs up, um, share, order, subs and if, I will put these videos, um, I will hopefully today. I don't know how this is all going to work with my old computer. Um, I'll have to tell you what happened in a little bit. But we have lots of things going on. Hey, Lisa, good to see you this morning, too. And uh, we have a special, in July, we have a couple things going on. Hey, Carla. Oh, hey, Carla. Yeah, Carla said, I'm glad to say you're able to do this without your tablet troubles. Yeah, well, I have my old, I have a 10-year-old tablet. It's really old, and that's what I'm using. I had, yesterday, I had quite the experience. Um, uh, as you know, I've had leg problems for the last month and a half, and I've had my MRI now. I don't know the results. They haven't let me know that yet, but hopefully today they will. Um, anyway, so I've been using a walker that I used, a wheeled walker that I used to have keep here when my mom was here. She's 96 now, and she hasn't been here since she was, since COVID. She was 93 then. Hey, Jennifer, good to see you. Where are you coming, watching from? Anyway, yesterday I was getting onto the elevator. It was about 8.15, 8.30, and I was going to come upstairs to work. And uh, there's a little, maybe an inch and a half crack that goes all the way from the upstairs down to the basement. Hey, Denise. Anyway, I got onto the elevator, but the wheel of my um, walker got stuck in that little crack, and all of a sudden, I had my iPad Pro, which is the largest that they make, that Apple makes. Um, it was it was sitting on the seat of the walker. And anyway, I, the wheel got stuck, and all of a sudden, the seat just started tipping down, and the iPad slid right into that crack. It was like a chance out of a million that it would go into the crack. I heard the computer smash down to the basement step, down to the basement shaft. And I was like, oh, I called to my husband. He was still at home, thankfully. And um, he hadn't gone to work yet. I said, oh, it was just a disaster because everything I do is on the computer. Hey, Anne Louise, good to see you this morning. Anyway, he said, now don't panic. I was already way past panic stage. He said, I'm going to go see if I can open up the elevator shaft with a special key. So he he went down the basement and he was able to open up the elevator and retrieve my iPad. Of course, it was all smashed. The screen, the protection, the case, the protection, everything was, uh, yeah, I need a basket for the walker like a regular older person needs. Um, my, my mom has one on her walker. We, yeah, that's for sure exactly what I need, Martina. Anyway... I immediately took it to a store here in Bozeman that fixes computers, and they said it was pretty bad, but they're going to order a new screen, and they'll see if it's, in, if it's damaged internally or not. So anyway, I pulled out my old little tablet, and that's what I'm, I'm watching, the comments, and I can do a little bit. It just doesn't have all the passwords, doesn't have the apps, because it can't, it's so old I can't um, update it past whatever. Anyway, 
that's my saga. <laughs> it's quite a story. Oh, such a chance, too, to have that happen. Anyway, um, now when I go on the elevator, instead of taking the steps, because I, my leg is still sort of bad, anyway, I'm very careful. I pick up the, my tablet and put it in, on my, in my arms. Anyway, good to see you all this morning. We have a lot going on. Remember, July is the time to earn coupons. And Kathy, good to see you down there in Colorado. So, and Sandy Garcia, I'm, I'm th thank you for so many of you joining in. Remember to thumbs up, like, comment, all those things. Tell us, you can talk amongst yourselves. So all of, all of July, from July 6th, which started last Thursday, until July 31st, you can shop with me and every, or on your own if you're a demonstrator and you get a coupon for every $50. So it's a little bit like celebration. You have to remember $50, $100, $150. So, and I had several orders that came in to get my special gifts. I always send thank you gifts, but um, I did have a promotion over 4th of July. So, and there were several people of you several of you that took advantage of that. Then we're going to be able to redeem those coupons in August. So it's like free money. So remember that as you order. We also have some online exclusives. Um, hey, Lynette, we have, I know everything is backwards. These online exclusives started last week, Thursday, and I was really planning to use everything today online exclusives and i placed an order at six o'clock last thursday on on july 6 at six o'clock in the morning and uh i shipped it two day i i refused to do one day but i probably should have because i thought two days well it'll get here saturday if it doesn't get here saturday it'll get here monday morning well i waited all it didn't come saturday and i waited all day yesterday i even prepped the cards thinking it was gonna come yesterday afternoon. And uh, so then about four o'clock, I thought I better change my plan for today. So I've used the same joy fold diagonal card, but I changed the designs and everything. So I had planned to use that truck. And um, anyway, it sold out, the truck stamp sold out, the punches are still available. I li I've listened to leadership uh, leader training on my uh, last night. Um, if you're a certain level in stamping up, you're a leader, and like I'm a silver elite. And then I listen to trainings for leaders. Hey, hey, Renee, good to see you this morning. Um, anyway, they had planned for that truck stamp and punch to last through Christmas. They ordered enough punches. Punches are still available right now. They're going to make more truck stamps and they're going to be available the week of July 16th. That's not too far away. Um, but today is the 10th, so it's next Monday. So anyway, um, yeah, Stacy, you're in Florida. Two day doesn't work in Florida. I, I always do three day and when I'm in Florida, I always do three day and even that may take five. Uh, so anyway, um, so, and also the, uh, well, last week I did the Timeless Charms. That has sold out. They still have dyes, but they don't have the stamps. They're making more. That's going to be in next week also. So don't give up on these online exclusives. This is really a neat program, I think, that they're doing to stay on trend, that they can bring in new products. And most of these they just oversold. They sold so fast. People are going crazy. Anyway, we are going to be using, um, we're going to be using the sleigh, one horse open sleigh suite, the horse and sleigh bundle, and the one horse open sleigh, which I was able to pre-order as a demonstrator. So that's good. And um, I'm, we're going to do a little bit with that. I did something a couple weeks ago with that also. Thank you. Thank you, Ann Louise. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was pretty devastating. Um, anyway, we are going to be working out of the catalog for the second card, and that was my, my, my alternate plan. Good morning, Mary from Kansas. So anyway, I will set that aside, and we're going to turn the camera down, and we're going to start our video. So let me just get this organized a little bit so we can do that. Close your eyes if you get a little 
seasick. Oop, maybe there we go. Oh, I've got my cord for my old computer going here, so see if I can get that out of the way. Got a, and I've got my glue bottle right there. And you are blinking green. What does that mean, blinking green? I have no idea about that. Does that, my computer is charged. Um, hmm. Let me zoom in a little bit with my phone. I'm, let's see what's here. There we go, now we're zooming. There we go. Okay, here's my host code, July host code is right here. And let's see what, this is a, this Thursday I have a gone fishing class. And let's see what's here. We're gonna move that out of the way. We're gonna get this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna move that up. There we go. Okay, these are, we're doing five cards. A couple of them are fun, three fun folds actually, and a couple that are just sort of simple plain ones like these two. And then this one is the Diagonal Joyful. We're going to be doing that this morning. So this is that fishing. The fishing paper is um, back ordered, but the stamps and dies are in again. That sold out almost right away. Hey, Deborah, good to see you this morning. Okay, let's see once if I can. We'll put this out of the, get this out of our way. And we're gonna start with our horse and sleigh. And, oh my gosh, I love this set. Of course, I love the paper. This is a brand new pack right here. Uh, it's 48 sheets. And it is, uh, you get four of every design. So I, I have a package right here. This is my pag my first package. And I've used just about everything on it. I had to really pick trying to, trying to get find something for today with this, because I have so, and I'm gonna use this, of course. But it has four sheets, like three, four of each design, which is fun. And then on the back, we have solids. We have really, it is just a great set of paper. I'm not sure how much it is, if it's 10 something. But anyway, it's, it's super. We are going to be making this card. I think I showed you this. Um, we're going to be using some of the dies. This is this is the card. I think I showed you this one last week. This is the horse and sleigh, and I colored it with blends. A lot of that uh, copper clay. I think it's really pretty. Um, that's going to be in my class. That's on the twentieth, and that's this. And that you will get um, the paper, and you'll get a. You'll get gems and the snowflake gems, which look like, what did they look? Oops, now everything's gonna fall on the floor. Um, let's see what's here. Here are the gems like this. They're snowflake gems. So that's in the class and the paper, and we'll be doing five cards. This is the card we're going to be doing today. It is a joy fold, a diagonal joy fold, and it opens like this. It's easy. There's nothing hard about making this. I love fun folds, but I like easy fun folds. Now, some people like hard fun folds, but challenging ones, I like easy ones that are that I can use in a class because I have to think that way. I have a lot of classes and I like to make them easy enough that, and yet challenging too a little bit. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna change up the color. We're going to use this paper on the back. It's sort of a muted red, but we're going to use this as our focal piece again you can see how I cut it down. And it does, um, I, I save every single bit of paper scrap that I have because you can always use it on the inside. Um, let's see once we're going to, this is how it goes. And, and you can certainly take um, screenshots, but you can also, um, or it'll take me about 10 or 15 minutes. I have it all typed up already. And after the video is over, and I close it, I will post the directions. 
So that's all done. I had to change all my directions too because I was planning on doing the truck and I had all that already worked out for you. Um, so we're gonna use um, the two designer papers. We're gonna use this one I have for the inside and uh, you, you see how it takes back here, we have a whole sheet of designer paper and um, we're gonna use pool party. And this is what we do. We're gonna take a pool party base that is uh, five and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter. And now I'm gonna slice it. And here are some other measurements. This is the envelope I did already. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just set this right here for you. Okay, so I'm gonna take my paper trimmer and it's just this easy. So I'm going to take this off, open up my trimmer, and I'm going to put this, do you see this, uh, right here is my line and right there is my score mark. I'm going to put that score mark on the track and then down here at the bottom I'm going to use, I'm going to put that on the track too, and then I'm going to cut with my cutting blade, that's the dark blade, this is my leftover piece. Um, this is a good, good thing you can, you know, you can use, um, to show you what, you can take a punch, you know, you can make strips or you can make a punch like that or something if you want. Um, you don't have to, but, but I, so I save those pieces anyway. So that's all the cutting we're doing right here. And you want to make sure you give it a good, good bone folding because you want this to stay open and work that way. So then we're gonna put our inside mat, which is four by five and a fourth. We're gonna put that right in our inside. Normally where you'd put a piece of white to write on. That's where it goes. And then we're going to just lay it in here like this, get, get everything nice and even, like that. Isn't that pretty? And so what I did was I took another piece of, this, is, this was another piece of four by, I'll just move it like this. You can see it was like this, four inches by five and a fourth. And then I sliced it diagonally. And this is what we're going to use. That's the other side of it. So I'm gonna put, and I can save this one or I could punch it, but I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna make another card out of, um, Lost, Lost Lagoon, Lost Lagoon. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna put this on. We're gonna just adhere that. And Levon, are you still seeing a flickering green light? I'm wondering. I don't know, I can't see the comments very well, but hopefully everything is working okay. Just gonna put it on like that. It's pretty already, isn't it? And um, this is the Lost Lagoon in there and then the pool party. I thought it was such uh, pretty colors with this paper. The red is a little bit vibrant, but it really makes that red pop on that um, barn. I love red barns. We used to live in Missouri and we lived on a farm. Our kids grew up on a farm and we had beautiful red barns that we had to paint every couple of years. Couple of you, I think, um, Linda, you have been to our place in Missouri. So now I've cut um, three because your your daughter used to play with our daughter when she was young, and you live in near Kansas, I think. Um, now, anyway, I've cut. I have a, I've cut my center mat already, and this mat is going to be three by four, just like that. Now, obviously I had a lot of wasted. I wanted to cut it out of the middle, but I've been saving all those scraps. Anyway, now we can, I've already cut this. So this flap, do you see this flap? It is cut at, it's the width of the paper. The width of the paper, yeah, the width of the paper. It's eight and a half by three and an eighth. You can do it any size you want. Um, I think on the next card I'm using the radiating dies and I made it a little different size. So these are all my, I cut three different colors and I thought it would be fun to choose. So quickly type in what you think. So it could be this way, like this. 
That's the pool party. It would look like this. It's very, very neutral looking. Here's the uh, Lost Lagoon. You're going to help me decide. Which do you, th what do you think? It's a little bit more of a contrast like that. Okay, or do you want the pop of red? I think that, oops, I think the pop of red is too much on this because there's no red in the background. Um, well, I don't know, there's, there's red there. We'll see, let's see what the red looks like. Yeah, I think it's, I don't know. I think they'd be okay. I think they'd all, actually, I think they'd all work really nicely. So let's see what you would like. Do you want Lost Lagoon, Pool Party, or Red? You tell me, okay? And we're going to see how those comments come in. Let me check once and see. Lost La Lagoon. Oh, hey, Simone, thank you for loving that. Um, okay, Luan. Okay, Lost Lagoon. I think Lost Lagoon is going to be the winner here. But you keep voting, okay? And uh, tell me, Lost Lagoon, Red, or Pool Party? And we're going to put that right there, and we're going to bring our um, stamps in. And I am going to bring my little piercing mat. We're going to stamp. We are going to put a little snowbank and a tree here also, but we are going to um, stamp our sentiments on the inside and the outside. I have a white sentiment. Also, it is three by four, so that we're going to stamp on that. Okay, and let's see once we're going to stamp the wishing you a season of cheer and the happy new year on the outside. I'm gonna stamp, do you see how I did it on here? Um, I, it's down a little bit low. I'm gonna push it up a little higher this time because I, that snowbank was a little bit of a challenge. So I think what I'm going to use this time is um, the Lost Lagoon, just to give you a little variation. So how are we doing on the voting? Let's see, let's. Lost Lagoon, Lost Lagoon, I think Lost Lagoon is going to be it. So, we're going to stamp. I'm going to keep, I'm going to sit down for this so I can get close enough. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to put my ink pad right here so you can see it. And wishing you a season of cheer. I'm going to give it a little tap. And I'm going to make sure this is nice and straight. I'm going to put this up a little higher. Right there. There we go, and that looks good. I'm gonna clean that on my chamois right next to me here. I love my chamois. They, they look so pretty when they're new and then they get so yucky looking, but um, they work the same. You just wash them out. I always just wash them out in my uh, sink, bathroom sink, and uh, upside down here. So, how many of you are crafting along while you're watching this? There's the Happy New Year on the inside. Um, and let's see here, we'll close that up. I could, I should have put a little rabbit on there maybe, but I didn't think about getting the block out for that. Okay, so put that right there. And we're gonna put, here's our piece of Lost Lagoon. We had lots, I think almost everyone voted for Lost Lagoon. I think it's a nice little contrast. We're gonna add some some of that to uh, the seal to it. And uh, we're gonna put this on like that. There we go, and that's the inside. And this will be the outside. I'm gonna use a little bit of my seal again. And remember, you could, this flat piece can be any size you want. Now I've got a little bit extra right there. I think I'm gonna trim that off with my handy dandy little, this little, guillotine mini. I just keep, I don't use it very often, but once in a while it's really handy. And just like that, um, I wish Stamping Up would come in with sell these. It was a promotion a few years ago and it's a good one. Anyway, that's a little bit better. So now I'm going to use my, my Seal Plus because that's the strongest adhesive that we make, that Stamping Up makes. And you have to be careful not to press too hard like I did. Sometimes if you press too hard, it'll tear the paper. So you have to be sort of gentle like that. But it is super strong. And now we're gonna put this on the inside of our, here's the inside of our card. 
I hope you'll all try this. They, these are so fun. Oh my gosh, they're just almost addicting. I did, I did a video, I don't know, I think it was back in, when we were in Florida using this um, fold. So maybe this past winter, you can go back and look for Diagonal Joy fold and you can see more. Hey Liz, good to see you this morning. Let's see, on this old computer, I, I lose the comments here. Um, okay, I see, oh, I see one pool party there. Yeah, Denise, I had Connie pool. We, we still have lots of Lost Lagoon. A couple pool parties and one red. Okay, there's our car so far and we're almost finished. Um, we need to add a three and I still don't have my order, so I don't have that, those adhesive sheets, but I already put some little dots of glue on uh, with my Tombow, just like this. I did that before the video. That makes it sticky, almost like a sticker. I'm gonna put that up here, just above the, like that. That's a little trick you can do if you wanna adhere something and it's intricate, you can just let it do that ahead of time. Now we've got some snow pieces. We've got a big piece and a small piece right there. Um, there's also another tree in the set too, and it's this one. So this is the one, the die. Is, that's the die that I use, but this one also cuts out this stamp. So, okay, I, let's see if we have enough room to do two snow banks. Um, let's see. Oh. Maybe we do. Let's see what we, I, I didn't have enough room on this one because I stamped it low. So I used the skinny snow bank, but I think, let's see what, if I have, if I can do that. So I was going to, let's see, once we what, put that, we can put them both together. We'll try that. We'll just give it a shot and see. I'm gonna put it, See how it works. We'll give it a little space right there, put it like that. And on this one, I'm going to, yeah, that's gonna work okay. It's maybe a little high. I'm gonna just, this is the seal, so I can probably get it off, okay? I'll put it down just a little lower. Oop. Not low enough. It isn't repositionable actually, but it's pretty close. Sometimes you can. And now I think that's going to work. We're gonna put this one like that, just like that. And we can even put dimensionals on. We can put some tiny dimensionals, these little bitty ones right here. We'll just use my take your pick tool and uh, put those on the ends. And then I really like the big ones. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the of the other ones, but I love the big ones. Oops, got that a little high. So there we go. And <laughs> those little ones are hard to get those get those off with the take your pick tool for me anyway. There we go. And did any of you get your order your orders yet? I'm gonna cut this off down. Where do we? Right there. Give that a little trim. Now we can pop this up like that. And it's almost, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. You can see the little dimension right there. Okay, good. And we're almost finished with this. Let's see what else we need. I think maybe we are finished. Oh, we need some snowflakes, that's what. It's missing, missing the snowflakes. And we're gonna use the white ones. They, this comes, uh, you get uh, 90 of these. These are still available. You get a sheet with small and medium and then a sheet with large. And we're just going to use the medium ones today. So we'll use, I'm gonna put a, Big one right down there. And a small one up here. We'll make a little, I can't see these real well. Oop, I got the wrong side of the adhesive. There we go. And then we'll do another, another one, right? Maybe. Right there. 
Okay, and then we can put those back. And the card is finished. This is the uh, this is another sheet that I had. I hadn't used a lot of this paper yet, so I made an envelope to go with it. And there you have it. Which do you like better? Do you like the red or the pool party? Both of them are the same on the inside, like that. Okay. Do you like the red or the pool party? Isn't that a fun card? Okay, let's pick up our stuff here and uh, we're going to make another card. That's a diagonal joy fold. And this one, I had this one all planned for that uh, very Merry Christmas. That's what I was going to stamp right here. I had all the reds and everything cut out. And um, so for, I just decided, I looked through my stamps with, for a small design. I want something I could punch with that, um, that brand new two, th two and three eighths punch. That's what I used for this. And then I, I cut a half, uh, it's a, like a two and a half about. And then I'm using the, uh, on this I'm using the radiating stitched dies, rectangles. And it's this, the second one. Love this. This is an online exclusive also. <coughs> Excuse me while I take a drink here. I don't normally talk for 45 minutes straight. Okay, here we go. So we are going to, we're using the uh, designer paper called, uh, this is the red, it's real red, and I'm using the Regal 6x6 designer paper. This is all in the, uh, it's all in the annual catalog. And real red used to be a bright, but now it's a, a regal, which is a little confusing. So anyway, the paper is found with the other designer paper. This is the Silly Goose stamp set. And it's a really cute one. We're going to use, I thought this is such a cute stamp for a birthday. We're going to use the lady. Um, and this one says the Silly Goose told me it's your birthday. And then below it, this Silly Goose forgot. Well, that is not, that is completely me. So not that I didn't forget maybe, but I just didn't get a card out. I have plenty of cards. I just don't always get them out. So they tend to either be early or late. Um, okay, I thought I made an envelope to go with this, but I don't see it. We're going to start with a red base, just like before. And it's five and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to score, I scored it at four and a quarter. So now I'm going to, and now I'm going to cut it diagonally. So it's like you can fold it first if you want, and then you're going to just slice it down. I'm going to put that score mark in the crease, and this one in the crease. And there we have that extra piece. We'll just drop that in there. Give this a good cut, um, <clears throat> good crease rather. There we go. And. Let's see here once I have, so I have two, you're going to cut two pieces of designer paper, four by five and a whole fourth, which is a, a die, which is a definitely is a de uh, an ordinary mat size. So this is what it would look with the, the stripes. And then I'm going to use, I cut one of these already in half. So I'm going to use this, this one. So we have that, or we could do the other side is the dots. That's what I did before for the hearts. These are the hearts, like that. What do you think? Should we try the hearts this time? We can do that and um, we'll try that. We won't vote this time, but um, we'll just try something different, okay? So we're going to get our seal. We're going to put some adhesive right here. Okay. Nice and even. There we go. And see on the other side. So I can't use the hearts because it wouldn't fit. So we're going to use that side of that. You have to be careful. And then I have enough to, to make a second card when you cut your 
in a diagonal so nothing is wasted. And then we're gonna put this piece on like this, okay? And I think that's gonna look really nice. It's got enough white in the background, sort of like this is what the dots, with the dots, I, th I think the dots are really sharp looking. Okay, now we're going to make our little flap. So our flap is going to be like this. We're going to have a red flap. And our red flap is two and three fourths, which is totally, um, you can just do your, your <clears throat> sizes according, like I thought, oh, it would be fun to use the stitched of the radiating dies. So I measured that and then I just went an eighth of an inch bigger. So um, we're gonna put that down and you could, in, you know, actually when I was gonna use the truck, I was going to emboss it, but we're not using the truck today because I don't even have the truck yet. Maybe next week. So, okay, there's that. And then our inside is going to be, I just measured, and it's going to be two and three eighths by four. So we'll do that right now. Or well, maybe we won't, we're gonna stamp, I think. I don't wanna, cause I'm gonna do a little stamping on that. So let's put that right there so I don't lose it. And then we have a, I have a red circle that I'm going to uh, punch. I have a white stitch circle, so I've got to, I'm going to use that scrap that I just had. And here's that. And then, wait, this is not going to work, is it? No, that's not going to work at all. I have just a plain, um, oh, no, I have to do my three and two and three eighths with plain white paper. Let me see if I can find some here. Oh, I think I have, everything is cut out. Oh, let's see, I don't know why I didn't punch it. I'll do it out of this. Here's what, some inside mat that we'll just punch it out. That, I love this two and three eighths. That's in the uh, online exclusives and that's gonna fit right there. And that is a, that's a wonderful punch, I think. Um, I don't, Think, I don't know about that Merry Christmas stamp, if, if they're making more of that one or not. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna do our stamping now. We're gonna save this, set this aside. Um, okay, let's bring in our little foam mat and we're going to stamp our little goose. Actually, I think, oh, I know, here it is. I had my circle punched on over here. And uh, I didn't need to punch a different one, but I did punch a blue, um, the blueberry. We can need, decide if we want to do, may have a little contrast and do some blue in this one or red. So those would be our choices this time. Blue or red on the outside. So we're gonna stamp our, um, we need some black ink here. We're gonna get our black memento. We always keep that upside down when you're storing it because it's a felt pad. And we're gonna stamp this in blue. So we're gonna stamp, um, we're gonna stamp our little, our little goose that's just lazy and just lazing around. Looks like in the lake or the swimming pool or something. So we're gonna give it a nice hole, let it soak in. There we have it. And, that's good for that. Let's see what's on the inside. We're going to do, um, we're gonna do blue on the inside. I did the black because um, whenever you're going to be coloring with your blends or alcohol, you need to use a, you need to use a water-based um, marker in that black, okay? So I think I better put a sheet down here. I'll just, oh, I don't have anything. I'll just use this little scrap because I don't want it to go on my, my piercing mat. So we'll just do that. Just holding it. I should have some. I want to stamp this birthday balloon right there. And I, I wanted it partially off like that. And then, um, see, it just got a little bit on there. Okay, let's see. We're going to do a sentiment. We're going to do... Um, a silly goose told me it's your birthday. And this one says, this silly goose is me. 
Let's see if I can get that nice and straight. There we go. It's a little crooked, but it's gonna, it'll do. It will do for now. And uh, let's see, I need a little label. I need a label. Let's see if we have some labels here. I do not. Give me a second and I will get some. They're still on the bag. I was in the bag. I have a bunch of these. They're really die cut. Um, just go to my little section and pull one or two of these out. Let's pull, we'll pull two of them out. And I was going to use that for the truck. So now, a silly goose told me it's your birthday. Okay, I'm going to put it, I'm going to bring it closer to me so I can see it. There we go. Good. We don't only need to do one. There we have it. And we're all done with our ink. You want to make sure you close your, like you can see how I close that. It's still, there's a little crack and air would get in it. So you need to give it a good squeeze like that. You hear it pop. And um, so there's that. All done stamping. And now we can uh, do a little coloring. We're just going to do a little bit. We're going to put, um, what do you think? Do you like it? Let's see. Thank you for sharing, Mary Ellen. Um, let's see once how this looks. What do you think? We're gonna put, this is gonna go on like that. Let's do that first. And I'm gonna put that on with some seal plus. There we go. Nice and strong. We're gonna put our, I just open it up and sort of center it is what I do. But you can do it any way you'd like. Okay, and then It'll go like that. So, do you like it with, here's the blue around it. I'm gonna, there's the blue. Just a touch of blue because I'm using a lot of blue in the coloring or the red. Here, let's do it this way. You tell me, do you like it with the blue? Here's what it'll look like with the blue. Okay, and I think what we're gonna do is put our ribbon on first while you're voting on that. Do you like a blue, blue? Okay, I'm gonna put a little piece of ribbon on my, behind this. And what I, what I like to do is I just take my Seal Plus and put a, a little strip of Seal Plus right there. And um, then I can lay my ribbon on top and it'll stick, you know. I never ever put, glue on my ribbon. I always put the glue on the whatever I'm putting it on. Okay, and then we're going to get our little snips and give it a haircut. Sometimes you can cut your finger too. I have to be really careful. My husband says I shouldn't touch knives and scissors because I do cut myself a fair amount or poke myself. These scissors are extremely sharp and I have poked myself a few times. So um, you do have to. I actually, it's because I, I Okay, I'm seeing all kinds of blue. A couple reds, I'm gonna pop that up on dimensionals. Let's, let's do that. Um, I'm gonna take the edges. The edges work really well when you have ribbon, so I like to take it like this. Put a little bit of adhesive on each side of that ribbon. That's a perfect way to use um, your dimensionals. Always use these little side pieces. I just put them on like that. So I don't like to put it on the ribbon. That ribbon is thin, but it still makes it a little bit lopsided almost on the stick when it's on. So there's that. We're gonna put this on. There, like that. And then we're gonna use the blue. We'll just put that on and then we'll do a little coloring. Some fast coloring actually. Okay, so there's those are our cards so far. We're gonna do some coloring now. And uh, oh, this is going on the inside. We'll do that quickly. Okay, so this is a fun little set. I really enjoyed it. It's a second choice. Whoops, that's not gonna work at all. That's way too big. But I maybe made this a little bit smaller. There, that's gonna work just fine. Okay, this silly goose forgot. Anyway, we're going to do some coloring now. 
with our blends and I I have some real primary bright colors because real red is it's sort of a bright color even though it's in the regal section now but um okay let's see we're going to do some water we're going to do the water in uh, dark blueberry that's the color this is blueberry right here we're just gonna all i'm going to do is this quickly as can be and this azure is a beautiful color. That's what I'm going to do for the inner tube. I'm going to do some little dots on these, on this inner tube. We, um, I wish I had a few inner tubes. Um, it's now getting just warm enough. Our grandkids, have, we, our pond uh, in front of our house is almost full. It's getting, it's really looking neat. And I'm just going to color this in with that azure blue like this. Our grandkids have been over here quite a bit swimming. They bring their, like, they'll come about four o'clock or something. As it gets warmer, the hottest, they like to have it get up to like 75 or 80 before they get in. They have paddle boards and, and they have um, little kids' kayaks or, um, anyway. And we've got some, they've been having a good time. And I just didn't even think this pond was going to be as big as it is. And uh, it's really quite fun. Here we go. There's our little frog, and I'm going to do her hat in some yellow flowers like this, and a little, I'm going to put a yellow band on there, and she's going to have a little bit of a red. This, this is poppy red, is her hat, just like the dots, and there we go. And her beak is a little bit of an orange. I don't know where my light pumpkin pie, I think that would be better, but this one is all I could find. It's the dark pumpkin pie blend. Okay, and since we have moved, I have not been able to find a lot of things. It's sort of amazing. It's like some, like there'll be whole missing boxes. Okay, and this, this is a brand new Wink of Stella. Oh, there's nothing better than opening Wink of Stella when it's brand new because I go through it quite fast. Okay, there we have that. And it is all done, ready to be added to our card. We're going to add a dimensional to that from my little stash of um, dimensionals that I cut up. From These are from the um, foam adhesive sheets like this. You get six of those. And you, I just keep my little jar right next to my table so that I can use those because I'd probably use five or six otherwise of the regular dimensionals. And our card is just about finished. I like that blue. Gives it a little bit of a different look. And those are our two cards. Here's the red one. And there is the blue with the blue. So do you have a preference? Do you like one better than the other? Okay, good to see you, Joy, this morning. Close your eyes. I'm gonna flip the camera. And there we're back. So, okay, just a few reminders. Remember that bonus days is going on and um, that's a fun time. Every time you shop in 50, for every $50 before the shipping and tax. Hey Sue, good to see you this morning too. Um, it's, you make sure that your $50 is before the shipping and tax. Hey Carla. Thank you very much. Um, then if you spend 100, make sure it's just, you know, it's $100 without the shipping and tax, 150. If it's 150, you need to join uh, Stamping Up and Become a Demonstrator because the starter kit's only $99 and you get $125 worth of products. So it's always a good deal. Thank you so much, Stacy. I appreciate that. I, I love sharing, I actually do. You know, I'm, I'm thinking, I was thinking yesterday, had, had we not had COVID and the pandemic, I wouldn't. I have wanted to do videos for at least five years, and I was just afraid. I didn't have any idea how to do them. I still struggle sometimes, but it's getting much easier now. I've been doing it for two years, but anyway, it's really fun, and I love doing it. I love sharing with you. I love teaching. So anyway, that's it for today. I will see you next Tuesday, and I uh, remember thumbs up, subscribe. 
If you are on YouTube later, make sure you ring the bell and uh, it's that helps me grow my business. I appreciate that. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate all that and the thumbs ups. Alrighty, I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye. Have a good day.